<laughs> there we go. Alright, here we go. Spawning is the blue undead. T yeah, spawning's the teal undead. Representing Clan Re, it is Wish. And his opponent. No, his ally, Sara, spawning as the teal undead. It is great. Their opponent's spawning as the blue undead. It is. I saw a dead person. And his ally spawning is the blue night elf. It is Carson. And if I can have one prediction, double undead, Carson's heroes are gonna get nuked to high hell. It's gonna be a lot of nuking this game, especially if they both go death knight. Looks like Grape is doing a Ted build. No, he's going ghouls. Whereas his ally is going a Dreadlord first. Oh, nice. The hell is this? Standard? And we see a what do we see as the hero under attack we don't I don't know what he's doing you see an alchemist is the first hero choice for Carson and a beastmaster is the first hero choice for great oh there's the chemical rage kicking in with the death knight Acolyte will go down. Savage. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. And then Dreadlord sleeps around on one of the fiends. Oh, why do you open it up? <laughs> and the acolyte hidden away at the ancients of wonder ghouls coming in from both of the teal players sleep onto the dead knight will he get surrounded he does get surrounded it's a bit of a sloppy surround he does manage to find his way out he took quite a bit of damage Damage that won't come, health that won't come back for a while until he gets that unholy aura. A player's forces are under attack. Good training for my casting skills. I'm not a bad caster. It's just I don't cast too many twos, and the games I usually do cast are standard. Sleep onto the alchemist, he does get surrounded. And there it goes. I he might have to TP. Will he let him die? No, he's gonna TP you out. Hey, my hotkeys work. Ah, that's funny. A player's forces are under attack. Well, players, 
both teams creeping away as we do see a, ne a proxy necropolis being built by Carson's base. My guess is they're going to be having quite a bit of fights there. The plague that will be spread from under the necropolis will help slowly regenerate the undead units. Because if you don't know, unless there's unholy aura, undead units do not regenerate health outside of plague. This dead ground stuff that these uh, buildings spread. A player's forces are under attack. So that's one thing to keep in mind as the Beastmaster does get to level 2. Alright, Alchemist, Harassing, Dreadlord. Alright, another sleep onto the Alchemist. Is he surrounded? He is surrounded, but he will be able to get it open as the ghoul goes down. All the players creeping. Forces are under attack. Not really much to cast about. All the players are creeping away. Not sure if Carson knows about this. He should now know about it as there he did see that plague, so he knows that something's there. I'm still wondering what they're doing with this, what the whole point of this was. Forces are under attack. Did you see the Thunderhawk coming in? Gonna try to go for the Wisps. There it goes. Doesn't really do that much damage, you think about it? All the players continuing to creep. Eventually we'll get into the fights and then I'll bring out the real casting skills as I crack my knuckles. Still nothing. I guess he just wanted the plague. Necropolis spreads a good chunk of plague if you think about it. A town is under siege. Double chim roots on the way for Carson. This has yet to be scouted, so I'm not sure if they know it's chims. Forces are under attack. But there is anti-air on the way as Wish has started to produce some gargoyles. Meanwhile, more ghouls being produced by grape.
Alright, great running around, maybe seeing if you could get an expo, but we as observers know there is no expo there. And we see necromancers on the way for Wish. Not sure what he's going to do with them. We'll have to wait and find out. Players' forces are under attack. Got ourselves a little engagement down here. We do see a panda brewmaster as the third hero choice for dead person as he gets level three off on his lich. Great running right on in there, going straight for the fiends. Ghoul frenzy ghouls are really fast, but good kiting here so far from the blue one dead. Alright, level 4 onto the Death Knight of Plague. He gets one ghoul down. Alright, he's gonna pick up a town portal at the Goblin Merchant. And we do have shims being produced by Carson with a third shim roost on the way. And what do we have coming out of the teal team? So far, nothing out of grape. We do see more ghouls for Wish, and it looks like it'll be necro wagons. And with some gargoyles, more meat wagons being produced. And the blue team is going to be hitting at the teal expansion. As he does start to unsummon his buildings. And there's the first two shims. Shims are so far at 1-0 upgrades. Frost Nova going down onto the ghouls who just go down like gravy with those chims. A town is under siege. Do you see an expansion on the way for Grape? Wish rebuilding his. Save the siege upgrade. Nope. All right, Wish gonna TP in here. Oh man, that is a lot of skeletons. Oh boy. A player's forces are under attack. Oh man. That TP onto that necropolis. <laughs> oh man. Wiz going off to dispel onto those summoned minions. Shims going straight for the Necromancers. So much going on. Level 4 onto the Lich of Plague. And those Chims just shredded through everything. Holy crap. Everything just dropped and died. Yeesh, that was painful. Things are not looking good for the teal team. Is there anything they can do to bring it back? Even getting level 5 on his dead knight from the skeletons. Never want to give you he your opponents a hero level.
town is under siege. <laughs> no stats for you, says Carson. Oh, what are these chimps doing? As they fly over the water. Two O oh, upgrades. Do we have plus three damage on the way? I don't know why. He's got plenty of resources for it. He's banking up. Players forces are Boneyard on a way, gonna see some frost worms, which actually isn't that bad if you can get a good mass out, because chimps can't attack air, the only problem is, there's fiends here who I'm pretty sure have web, so I'm not sure how well it should be. Alright, looks like the teal team's gonna make a push onto the blue one dead space. Oh, and the Chim's going straight for the Black Citadel. Will he be able to get a stop? One person's going to TP in. Can he get that TP in in time? He does get it in at the very last second. A player's force is under siege. Gargs going at it. Goblin Zapper. Oh, but the TP can't get the Zapper to blow it up. He does blow up, killing a bunch of Moonwells. This game is something else. Expansion forced to be unsummoned. This game is just. This game's just. Funny forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. Which almost a level five. Might want to try to get another kill on that. Gargoyles continuing to chase down these chimps. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Gargoyles even creeping out the red spot at the top right of Twisted Meadows, which is full of dragons. Players' forces are under attack. A town is under siege.
A hard cargo's going in, but a lot of them are getting webbed by the fiends. Level 5 on the alchemist. 